All right, ladies and gentlemen, Skybridge on the uh, podium today for the closing bell. And um, another line that I did not originate, but I'll relay it to you. The numbers are sky high, all green. And before we get to uh, Rob Williams, Newsmax Finance Deputy Editor, let's take a look at those numbers up on the screen for you. The Dow up 139, or 138, uh, up uh, to 17,996. Recovering nicely from uh, last uh, Friday. And the NASDAQ up 15 to get back up to 4942. And the S&P up 8 to close at 2,079. All right, Mr. Rob. Yes. Um, we had the uh, Big Apple uh, event in, yep. uh, in uh, Silicon Valley. At, it was at 1 p.m. Eastern time. They unveiled the watch. They talked mm -hmm. about a deal with HBO. They right. lowered the price of Apple, pay, uh, uh, Apple TV, and they have a new um, uh, Mac book, which is uh, slimmer than ever. Right. Wow, it, what it, a day. Yeah, and uh, well, the stock went up half a percent. Yeah, so, it was up more uh, than that, then it, it went down it, a little it bit. It settled yeah. a bit, but it, it, it did uh, find a bottom and bounce from there, which is good. Um, but it, it says that maybe a lot of the expectation was already priced in, that it didn't just suddenly astound investors right. and think, God, i got to buy Apple stock immediately. Right, right. But if they have success with the watch sales, mm -hmm. then they also just announced, I think, that or someone said that they had 700 million uh, iPhone sales. Mm -hmm. They crossed that plateau. But I, the right. watch starts at like 349 uh, and it goes all the way up to about 17,000 for the gold watch. I understand yeah. you're, you got your order in for the gold. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, don't tell uh, my wife. But here's the thing, <laughs> and, and one analyst uh, said, I saw this uh, today, that they could build, a, uh, they could sell a billion watches because there's so many health related mm -hmm. uh, benefits to this watch. And apps that will uh, attribute, you know, contribute to the uh, the health. You could your heart rate, your blood pressure, your 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 mood, your stress, and more. Right. Um, and the apps could ha could get uh, information on conditions you have that it will become like a, a just a, a natural must have that everybody will have. And they could he thinks they could sell a billion of them. Right. Yeah. I almost wish it had a defibrillator and. <laughs> <laughs> for what I'm jogging. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you're right. The That is a whole new uh, generation. You wouldn't be able to use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there is there is a whole new generation of health apps that's part of this whole package uh, that will allow people to maintain health records with it and exchange those with, uh, you know, approved medical professionals. A big part of this uh, is the privacy issue, but Apple assures yep. uh, is assuring people that uh, it will be protected, your that, uh, private that's health a, data. That's what they're saying. Well, there was no data today, uh, economic data, to, uh, to right. influence the markets, uh, really. So it was, uh, uh, yet it, it went up, and Apple wasn't a big factor. So what, did, what, what made the, the markets react uh, upward? Uh, well, the Dow was the biggest gainer today, and a lot of it had to do with uh, we had some billion-dollar deals, but we also had General Motors saying that it would buy back $5 billion of its stock. Right. And so that, it was the biggest gainer on the Dow, and that did help it. Um, but the tone overall was fairly subdued. Uh, you're right, uh, there, wasn't, there uh, weren't much data out there to really digest. And uh, so we'll see what happens. By Thursday, we'll get retail data. That should be a big uh, thing yep. that'll help uh, people uh, understand what's happening next. And tomorrow, we uh, have uh, small business optimism right, and yeah. job openings. Uh, what do job openings mean? How does that differ from jobs? Uh, well they, sur well, they survey employers and ask them how many jobs do they have open. They also look at things like the quit rate to see how many people are quitting jobs. Right, right. Uh, that used That's to always be a good sign, right? Right. If people are quitting and they feel yeah. confident uh, that they're going to get a new job, yeah. Unless that's considered they're quitting positive. the lesser, lower paying jobs that they had after they had the better, higher paying jobs and they're fed up and they don't go out looking for more jobs, then it's well, not right. good. <laughs> but we have no way of knowing that. Rob Williams, yes. uh, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Steve. All right, folks. And if you want to take control of your financial future, you know what to do by now. You visit Newsmax.com slash finance. That's Newsmax.com slash finance. And that might be the uh, interest rate chessboard or something. Of the, I don't know what I'm looking at there, but uh, you got to go there to find out. That's the beauty of it. Uh, we're coming back, ladies and gentlemen, with Gimme Five. Don't go away.